In Hebrews chapter 12, the scripture says, the very last verse in that chapter says that God is a consuming fire. And I believe that God wants to ignite his body. He wants his body to be fiery. You know, it says in Jeremiah 23, verse 29, that God's word is a hammer and a fire. You know, the fire does many things. The fire will purify, it will ignite, it will bring forth life, uh, even after something has, has had its time. You know, farmers burn the fields. And they, they burn them for a reason uh, to, to bring life back into them. And so that the, the seed that they're going to plant uh, will take root and grow and that the ground will be fertile. And we are to be fertile ground for the Lord. You know, it also says that in Matthew chapter 3 that He is going to baptize us in the Holy Ghost and the fire. You know, I believe that uh, the three Hebrew children in Daniel chapter 3 were surely ignited by their belief in the Lord, by the word that was in them, uh, that when they were told that they were going to be put into the fiery furnace, they had no fear. They had no fear about that. You know, and in, in, in this year, the Lord has said to me, uh, God is near, do not fear. Well, the three Hebrew children did not fear being thrown into the fiery furnace. Why? It's because they were already fire. They had already been ignited by the Holy Spirit, and they were worshiping the Lord. They were praising their God. They knew what their God could do, and His word to them was a hammer and a fire. Hallelujah. You know, in the last days, there are those that the tares are going to be gathered together and they're going to be thrown into the fire. You know, the fire of God destroys the evil and purifies the good. Oh, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Hallelujah. You know, I want to be a vessel of honor unto my God. And the way that He does that is through His Holy Spirit, who is a fiery Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, just like in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts chapter 2, it says that they were in one place, in one accord, and they were worshiping the Lord, they were praying, and all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit was poured out upon them. Oh, that's good. Let's go there. Let's go to that scripture right quick. It says that they heard a mighty rushing wind and it came into the place and tongues of fire came upon them and they were ignited to do the will of the Lord. They were ignited uh, to do what he had called them to do. For the work of the Lord, we must have the fire. There's just something about being around a person that has the fire of God shut up in their bones. And when they begin to speak, uh, the fire comes forth in power and in boldness. And it destroys the evil and it promotes the good. It purifies the good. That is, that's so wonderful. You know, he says in Hebrews chapter 1 that my ministers will be a flame of fire. You know, I am sitting by this beautiful fire uh, today and I just think about the warmth that it gives to me and also that it is it gives light. Uh, there is a light to it and it, it I can come closer and closer to it and, and my flesh... Uh, becomes warm and it becomes uh, flexible, if you will, uh, so that the Lord can mold me and use me and 
destroy anything in my flesh uh, that doesn't need to be there. If pride is there, if anger is there, if unforgiveness is there, if greed is there, that fire of the Word of God and the Spirit of God will come into your life and into my life and it will destroy those things that keep us from our destiny and from our purpose. The fire of God wants to come into your life today and burn out any disease in your body. Wants to burn uh, migraine headaches. Wants to burn them up. Wants to burn up back difficulties and, and knee problems. Uh, you know, I'm touching my knee right now and I'm believing God uh, to touch any part of your body that needs the fire to come in and destroy the evil and purify and bring forth the good in our lives. We need the fire. You know, back to the three Hebrew, Hebrew children, we know what was happening. You know, those that heated up the fire, the furnace seven times hotter were destroyed themselves. Persecution in, in your life is being destroyed right now. Those words and those actions and those deeds uh, that have uh, tried to come against you and, and the, the things that you're doing for the Lord, they're being destroyed by the fire of God right now in the name of Jesus. God is fighting for you and God is a consuming and a mighty fire. We praise Him today, don't we? We thank Him today. God is burning out uh, hearing difficulties. God is burning out blindness today. Right now in the name of Jesus, He's bringing light to your eyes and hearing to your ears. And those that are lame, He is making you uh, able to walk again in the name of Jesus. Receive His fire today. Receive his word today. It is a hammer and it is a fire. Thank you for viewing. God bless you.